It's exceedingly common to hear the term rising star in the world of professional fighting. But Hamicha has 100% earned that title. Hamicha is quickly garnering a reputation as a unique body snatching sharpshooter. And is at this moment a serious contender for the Glory Welterweight Championship. With 30 of his 40 wins by knockout, many in the first round, Hamicha overwhelms his opponents with calculated, persistent aggression. So let's take a look at what exactly makes Hamicha such a dominant force in the ring. The pressure that Hamicha puts on his opponents is absolutely insane. And as such, he could serve as a useful template for anyone looking to adapt to pressure fighting style in kickboxing and in many ways MMA. The first important distinction to make is that Hamicha is not simply spamming out shots and hoping for the best. Because, as a wise man said, boards don't hit back. So if Hamicha is planning to stay conscious while throwing 5 to 10 punch combinations, the least he needs to be able to do is defend opponent's counters at any given moment. But while a good pressure fighter can defend and then reset, a great pressure fighter like Hamicha can defend and then immediately return a counter. And he could even do this without breaking his rhythm. To get an idea of how difficult this is, imagine playing your favorite sport, but needing to randomly stop what you're doing every so often to avoid a punch. That may mess up your backswing just a little bit. But this is so hardwired into Hamichi's reflexes through years of drills and sparring that he can keep his rhythm even if he's not successful and takes a shot himself. But he can take it even one step further. Hamicha is actually able to defend and intercept an opponent's attack at the same time, at any point during the exchange. In other words, instead of returning a counter mid-combination, he can intercept a counter mid-combination. For instance, here Hamicha intercepts an opponent's attempted knee with a stiff jab. Notice how he subtly throws in a catch to help the opponent find his way to the canvas. And here we see Hamicha pull this off the other way around, countering his opponent's jab with the knee. The reason this is such a rare skill is that the opponent could throw any shot at any point during the exchange. And Hamicha needs to be ready regardless of what they throw and when they throw it. Aside from aggressive defense, Hamicha also excels at controlling the position of himself and his competitor. After all, the large majority of pressure fighters hope to both trap an opponent on the ropes and then keep them there until the job is done. So to get them to the ropes in the first place, Hamicha uses the tried and true method of stepping laterally. Moving in a diagonal line to cut off the opponent's escape. By feinting while doing this, he can back them up further without taking any risk himself. But feints won't work if you don't have anything to back them up. While cutting off the ring, Hamicha's shot selection revolves around hurting the opponent where he wants them. But of course, there's always the possibility that these shots do land. Once he has opponents just where he wants them, Hamicha will use a combination of framing and grappling to keep opponents pinned in position. These tactics can also off-balance opponents or disturb their guard, setting up more shots. And of course, they give the opponent one more thing to think about. Overwhelming competitors by presenting them with many different threats is pressure fighting 101. Which leads us to the last point, strike selection. I've gone over the basics of striking high and low to open up holes in the opponent's guard many, many times. And the same with alternating attacks around the sides and down or up the middle. But I've rarely gone over how effective it can be to throw the same strikes from different ranges or different angles. 
Because Hamicha throws strikes from all different angles, hooks and roundhouses that would have met resistance can instead arc over or under an opponent's guard. And of course, if he can't find a way through, he can just pull down their guard, like Lomachenko. Along with mixing up punch angle, Hamicha is great at mixing up the range of certain strikes, and this too comes down to unpredictability. Most opponents won't be expecting to react to certain weapons from certain ranges, and most likely haven't drilled these defenses. Nassim Hamed shocked many with his long-range uppercuts, and Hamicha often does the same with his gazelle hooks to the body. He throws these from a range where his opponents would more likely be expecting a roundhouse kick. This tactic speaks for itself. Many believe that Himicha will be the next champion. It remains to be seen if his aggressive style earns him the title or serves as a cautionary tale. But at such a young age and such a tremendous start, it's very clear to me that we are seeing a rising star that will be thrilling fans with his elite tactics for years to come. You can check out my books on power, footwork, and aggressive defense if you'd like to learn more. Big thank you to Glory for the high quality footage. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.